Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for joining us for 10 News at 6. I'm Duke Carter. Breaking news out of Washington, D.C. this evening, where the House has passed a short-term spending bill to avoid a government shutdown. Rob Kirkpatrick shares what's next for Congress. In a last-minute push to prevent a government shutdown, the House passed a short-term spending bill to fund the government. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Meetings between lawmakers evolved rapidly Saturday morning, and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy emerged to announce the plan on a short-term spending bill to keep the government open. Winston Churchill once said this about America. You can always count on Americans to do what's right after they exhausted every other option. The spending bill passed the House with overwhelming support from Democrats. This is what the people have sent us to do, so I'm glad we passed this on a bipartisan basis out of the House. The American people have won. The extreme MAGA Republicans have lost. But hardline conservatives have threatened to remove McCarthy as Speaker if he worked with Democrats. McCarthy puts a CR on the floor. Are you going to bring up a motion to oust him? Well, uh, that'll be something I'll chat with my colleagues about. But the House Speaker pushed back on those threats. If somebody wants to remove because I want to be the adult in the room, go ahead and try. If I have to risk my job for standing up for the American public, I will do that. A shutdown would have enormous impacts across the country. From air travel to clean drinking water, many government operations would come to a halt, while services deemed essential would continue. I'm Rob Kirkpatrick reporting.